What's happening, everyone? Sorry about that. Uh, I had my sound off, have myself muted. Sometimes it happens. What's going on, everyone? What's happening? What's happening? Hope you guys can hear me. Got my got my mic on now. Kind of had it off for a minute, but got it on now. Let me take this helmet off so you can actually see me in all my glory. And here we go. So what's happening, everyone? We're going to dive right in. And if you're watching this, I'm looking for you here for comments. Feel free to comment, like the video, make sure you subscribe. And uh, let me just go and do my shout outs first. First of all, um, I got to show my appreciation to uh, Mr. Colin Caton, who is showing me love from Facebook. And uh, Siri uh, showing love from Twitch. Appreciate you. And got some more people showing love here. Got my man up here showing love. So if you're showing me love, I'm showing you love back. Appreciate you. Appreciate all my new followers here from Twitch. You guys are completely awesome. Love you guys here. Mr. Maul. So, hey, let's let's dive right in here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about the best theme team in Mutt. I'm going to talk through how to build it. I'm going to show you guys how you can literally dominate. And I do have my ebook coming for the dual threat quarterback. So I'm working on that now. And if you guys have not been keeping up, we had Cam Newton. We did a video on our YouTube channel. I'll probably restream it so that it ends up, so it's on Twitch and it's on Facebook. Here's what we did. We had Cam Newton. We literally won seven Super Bowls for him. We won two back-to-back -back, uh, on stream. And so what we did was time to retool. So we actually got a new team. Well, not a whole new team, but we got a new offense. And we got Drew Brees as a quarterback. And we wanted to take him to a Super Bowl. See if we can win a Super Bowl with Drew Brees. And I'm going to... Kind of leave some mystery if we did it or not. Don't worry, you're going to see it tomorrow when we drop that video. Uh, also, um, we're going to spin the wheel for some prizes pretty much as well too. But let's dive right in here. Let me let me shrink my screen here. So I'm going to put myself way up in a little corner here. So give me one second. I'm going to put myself way in a little corner. And we're going to shrink myself. so We can take a look at this entire team. So here we are, shrunk, we small, we teeny, and I'm gonna put myself probably up here. Should I put myself up here? I'll put myself up here. I'm gonna put myself right here. There we go. So got myself right here. Uh, this is where we're at. So let's go over our team here. And as you guys see, I am a 96 overall. I'm a 96 overall. We're going to talk about how I did that. And I did this through the Zero Chill promo. So on the Zero Chill promo, I was able to build my team. And I actually did it efficiently. So, you know, I know there's a lot of cars that came out. But I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this Zero Chill is the best theme team promo to build. I'm going to tell you why. The reason why you want to build a Zero Chill theme team is because you can have the best players. And this theme team is complete. As you see, by me building this theme team, I am a 96 overall. I got 397s on defense. I got 397s on offense. I'm going to show you all my Kims. I'm going to show you why this is the best team to build. And literally, you have so much variety. So if you want to look for a theme team to build, and I'm going to tell you why you want to build a theme team, because of all the boosts. Now, what I'm actually going to go is we're going to go over on offense. I'm going to show you what I got on offense. I'm going to show you how we're rocking. And, um, my, my screen should be changing over. I don't know why it's not here. Uh, let me see why my thing is stuck here. Okay. Looks like that's not stuck, but it looks like my screen is stuck. So let me uh, refresh this screen so you guys can see where I'm at. It should have changed over by now. Give me one second. Sometimes it's, sometimes technology be tripping. You know how it is. All right, cool. So it looks like it changed over. Might be a little delay behind it. So... So let's go through the theme team. Let me see if, it keep, if it's keeping up with me. Okay, all right, cool, it's keeping up with me. Okay, so let's go through the theme team. Now, one of the things that I am big on, on my offense, I am really big on protecting the quarterback. So what we have on our offensive line is we have Ryan Ramzak at right tackle. He's a 96 with the boost. We got Will Shields, he's a 97. Creed Humphrey, 97. Quentin Nelson, 97. Anthony Munoz, 97. So we got four 97s on offense. And then we have our tight end here, which is 
Taysom Hill, 96, still a very good tight end. Not very tall, but very good route running. And then on our wide receiver, we got Debo Samuels on the outside. We got Refrigerator Perry as a fullback. We got Drew Bledsoe as our quarterback. And we got Kenneth Walker, who is still probably one of the best running backs in the game. He came out in the um, the Ghost of Mutt promo, and he is still like 400K. As a matter of fact, he is more than the quad father, which people have been having trouble stopping the quad father. But Kenneth Walker is a really good running back. Then we got Plexico Barris, and then we got Herman Moore. So again, our wide receivers are 96 across the board. We're running in between a 96 and 95 speed. Um, they're rocking and rolling. Let's go over to this vicious defense. And if you've seen my video lately that I dropped on YouTube, you will know my defensive line is nothing short of victitious. They are just killing people, like literally. So, uh, I'm going to go through them here. We got Chase, Dan Chase Young at a 97 overall. We got Jeffrey Simmons, 96. Warren Sapp, 97. We got Quentin Williams at a 96. We got Tra Trayvon Diggs at 95. Charles Woodson at 96. And we got Denzel Ward at 96. So, our secondary is pretty decent. I would like to add Antonio Cromartie because Cromartie has some abilities that I definitely want. And then at the secondary, we got Troy Palomato. At left outside linebacker, we have TJ Watt, 97 overall. At middle linebacker, we got Ray Nishke, 96 overall. Bobby Wagner, 96. We got Matt Milano, 96. And we got Julius Peppers at safety, 96. We even got Sean Taylor and Ted Hendricks. So again, uh, we are pretty much stacked across the board. And let me show you why I chose to do the Zero Chill theme team and probably why you should too. Number one, you're going to have a pick between uh, at least three promos. Zero Chill is the best promo because you have Ghost of Mutt, you have Zero Chill, and you have stocking stuffers you can choose from. And I got a few stocking stuffers here, but uh, let me show you all the Kims I have on here. So we literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Kims activated. Seven Kims activated. So Melvin, how do you do that? So let's go over the Kims here and show you. So the first one is zero chill. So all we had to do was get 50 zero chill players in our lineup. And we literally got all zero chill players except for one. And I'm going to tell you why I got um, the one that was replaced. So again, I got 50 out of 50. So every position doesn't have to be zero chill. As long as I got 50 out of 50, I'm good. And so every player on my team that is a zero chill, ghost of mutt, or stocking stuffer will get plus two strength plus two jumping, plus two agility, plus two acceleration, plus one throwing power for any quarterback, plus one kicking power for any kicker, plus one awareness, plus one play wreck, plus one speed to everybody. So everyone gets this um, added to them uh, just for being a zero chill player. So that is Kim number one. This is Kim number two. As you notice, I have my 88 Rob Gronkowski in the lineup. Melvin, what the heck are you doing with an 88 Rob Gronkowski? Well, this Rob Gronkowski card will be upgraded to a 98. It will be the best tight end in the game throughout the you know throughout this promo. So I'm working on a 98 Rob Gronkowski. But once you get him to an 88, let me kind of show you this. If you upgrade Rob Gronkowski, folks, what's going to happen is as you go through the season pass, you want to upgrade him once. You upgrade him again. You'll get him to an 88. Once you get him to an 88, something cool happens. You're going to get this little icon right here that, hit, that is Gronk, Gronk Hype Man Motivator. And it's going to add plus one tackling, plus one jumping, plus one run block, plus one run block finesse to everybody on the team. Which means that I have another Kim activated. So as we go through this, you'll see everybody on the team, because I added Gronk, everybody on the team gets all of this, plus one tackling, plus one jump, plus one run block, plus one run block on S, plus one pass block, plus one plus one pass block on S, and plus one throw under pressure. So they get all of those. So that's two Kims I have activated, which is boosting my team. So literally, if you're playing this game, you definitely want to add abilities to your people, but you also want to have Kims. Now, another Kim I have activated is the heavyweight Kim. Now, the heavyweight Kim basically will add plus one impact block, plus one power move and plus one run blocking. And that's the power move is good for defensive players, um, which you'll see they get, they get uh benefit from this. 
And so the power move is good for all defensive players and the impact blocking and the run blocking is good for offensive players, which we have on the other side. Also, to boost my offensive line even further, I have another strategy card called the Iron Wall. The Iron Wall gives each offensive lineman plus five pass blocking, plus two impact blocking, plus one pass blocking uh, uh, protection, and plus one pass blocking finesse. So that's why my offensive line is boosted up here. So that is a good strategy card. Then on the Bull Rush card, I want to go down here and show you that, which I have. I'm going to get a boost on all of my defensive linemen and on my right and left outside linebacker. That's why TJ Watt is a, is a 97. That's why Matt Milano is a 96. And that is why we have our right defensive end all got boost. So that's another Kim. And then an extra Kim comes in to shed. Everyone's going to get a, an additional plus one block shed. And then my quarterback is going to get an additional plus one scramble right here as part of the boost. So let me take you to my strategy cards and show you how I'm able to boost that. So these are my strategy cards here, folks. Uh, we have the, and you can get this from um, the, uh, the Turducken promo. There's a strategy card. It's a heavyweight card. You can get that. It's free. And then these cards, they cost. But this is basically a legendary bull rush card and a legendary iron wall card. You add this to your squad, you boost your offensive and defensive line. Again, the iron wall for offense, the bull rush for defense. So in totality, folks, that makes our team literally goaded. So you see all the stuff I have in there. You see everything I got. Now let's go, let, let's go take a look at the running backs because. I think one of the biggest investments I made is I got Kenneth Walker for 315K. I might've had him listed. I got him a little while ago. And let me show you right now, price-wise, that literally uh, he is still a good running back. So if you got Kenneth Walker um, and you haven't sold him, this guy literally has risen in value. So his value has increased tremendously. And um, this is just amazing. So again, we're going to go through here and I'm going to go through the auction house, which is live. And I'm going to show you some running backs here. We're going to go uh, type. We're going to go running back. And we're going to go, I guess we'll go like 94, 95. And if you look at these running backs, you got some budget running backs you can get. You can get if you need a running back. Uh, you got some budget ones. I like the the zero chill running back, so I think all get that boost. So you got Ladainian Thomason at uh, at least 179k. I like him as well. Um, and you got Marshawn Lynch 199. And literally, if you go down and you're looking for Kenneth Walker, um, he is. Let me see the yeah. They got him for 500k. We got a 500K Kenneth Walker, who's pretty good. And uh, this guy just really, really rocks. So what I want to do for you guys now is I want to get into some gameplay. And we're going to play a game so you can see how this team plays. And um, don't worry. I'll let you know if we won a Super Bowl with Drew Brees. If you go to our YouTube channel, uh, we really reconstructed our team. And uh, let me go back to my playbook here. And let me make sure. Let me see what I got. So we're going to go head to head. I'm going to go right into a game. I'm going to show you how the scene plays. Now, I got one of the most catch you off guard playbooks that you can have. You guys will love this playbook. It's, it's just fun. It's fun to play with because it catches people off guard. People hate it. But let me show you this playbook. It just really catches opponents off guard. They hate it. They hate it. They hate it. Um, I'm going to play with it so uh, I can show you this playbook. It's really fun. If you want to know the name of this playbook, I will probably you, uh, let you guys know. So we're going to go into a season game and we're just going to have fun with this playbook and see how we do. Right. So uh, this is my first, my second time using this playbook. I used it yesterday. Uh, the guy got really pissed off. It's some cool things you can audible into, but I think it's just a really, really fun playbook. You really have to be on your P's and Q's in this playbook. So uh, this is some live gameplay here and it looks like we're going, Oh wow. Somebody got the 97 Josh Johnson. 
we're going to get some 97 Josh Johnson. Um, let's see if our defense is up for the task here. So let, we're into the game and um, we get the ball first. And let's let's dive into some Madden gameplay. Let's see how we're going to rock. OK. All right. There's Debo Samuels. All right, let me let me, uh, let me adjust my screen here. I don't even care about the play clock. Let it run. All right, cool. Who's gonna call anything with five seconds left? I had to adjust my screen here. So we're gonna run something. No, I don't like that. So, all right, cool. So let's, uh, what play was that? That was, that was a pretty cool play. All right, so let's go in, let's go in for a run. Uh, I don't, let me see what he has on him. Uh, let's see. Oh, no inside stuff. So that means I can just run this play without any problem. Kenneth Walker's a beast. He's a beast. So we're going to go through and we're going to go through some annoying plays here. These are some good gotcha plays here. So uh, you guys will love this. So watch this, folks. This play is a guy and he's in the middle. Now, this play is just really, really good because he has to come over. And he has to check all of this stuff here going on. Whoops. Oh, put the moves on. So he has to get out there and defend that stuff. That's kind of crazy to have to defend that stuff, right? Uh, especially with us doing stuff like this too. So uh, that is really, really tough here. We're we'll gonna get out again and uh, we're we'll do another another auto motion. And we're gonna motion Herman Moore and we're gonna look for Plexico Barris. <laughs> so this is our offense. We are, we're coming up. What's, what's going on, man? Got some gameplay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. So, guys, if you missed this video, I went over our whole team. You can watch this joint back. And we are in live gameplay. And uh, we're literally just balling here. Oh, bad, bad decision. My bad. I should have threw that earlier, right? I should have threw that as soon as I hiked it. So uh slow gameplay or slow move by my by my uh my hand. So my bad. Very, very bad. And I actually had Plexico running too. So all right, new playbook. And let's see, this guy is going to be in a a cool little look here. He's uh probably gonna run the ball. Yep, I knew it. So no, no, no running on his defense. No running on his defense. So this playbook I got is pretty cool. So, hey, appreciate my man. It, what's up, Richie Glitchy? Content is fire. I'm here for it. Get it. Get active. What's happening, bro? What's happening? Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, good, good pickup. Nice pickup, bro, whoever this guy is. Good pickup. We threw a dumb iron interception. Sometimes we sometimes we can get a little dumb sometimes. Uh, we left that open. All right, let's, let's, lock, let's lock in. Let's lock in. Let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. Are we going to get a stop? We're going to get a stop or is this guy going to this guy gonna kick our butts? What do you think? What do you guys think? I see the crosser. Oh, he, he trucked my dude. He trucked my dude. I'm going to show you all a pretty cool defense. I'm about to really, really get into some. Third and three. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? 
gonna show you a little blitz out here. This is Nickel Blitz 3. This thing comes in pretty fast. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that nigga Blitz ain't no joke. What you gonna do? Oh, he wants to go for it. Oh, shucks. All right, so let's see. I gotta protect my seams. He didn't get first. He didn't get a first down. Sorry, boss. <laughs> I don't know what you was throwing. Don't, don't get. Don't don't try to go to the corners. We we know you're going to the corners. All right, cool. So we are back on offense. We we just in a playbook that we just kind of stumble across. Um, I kind of like this playbook. It's actually pretty cool. Um, let's see if we can make some of it. Pretty cool little playbook we got. And we just take the open man Plexico. Y'all want to see some crazy stuff? So, so just for this stream, I'm gonna do some real crazy. I'm gonna do some real crazy. Watch this, y'all. This is gonna be real crazy. Up. Uh oh. What? What? What is this? What is this? What type of formation is this? It's gonna be a run. <laughs> no, we got to we get we're gonna get crazy out here. We're getting crazy out here, y'all. We're getting a little crazy. So now he has to worry about me doing that. I know people people hate that stuff. They like, oh my God. Oh, come on. What is a delay of game? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Got Plexico running free. And we'll go to this little crazy play. <laughs> that, that play is so crazy. I just like I like to do it to mess with people though. I do that just really to mess with people. All right, so Herman Moore up top, I think is in the zone. Then I call it Herman Moore up top. Oh, I overthrew it. Come on, Drew Bledsoe. Dang, Drew. Drew got an arm, don't he? So when, when did they start getting bet downs at the line of scrimmage? I, I noticed that a lot, too, in this game. Um, that these players will get bat downs at the line of scrimmage. Have you guys been noticing that? All right, so we got Plexico. All right, so we're going for Plexico. Let me, let's see how he plays this. Oh, nice. I hate these bet downs at the line of scrimmage. These bet downs at the line of scrimmage are kind of crazy. I noticed we get a lot of them lately. And we had to overthrow the Plexico. Again, we just playing around a new playbook. Um, this is one that, that was used in MCS. So I my first time using it. So I'm just kind of displaying it with you guys and seeing how we go. That should have been a pick. Definitely should have been a pick. 
I see he likes his formation. So um, let's see if we can get an interception. Good coverage. Good coverage. We're going to bring some noise. All right, so let's bring some noise here. Let's, let's, let's bring some blitzes. Let's bring a little blitz here. Nickel Blitz 3. You'll see what uh, one thing I like to use. Somebody went on the assignment. So he likes to use a lot of in routes. So I see that now. So let's see if we can uh, cut that off. Oh, he caught it on you. What's your single getting, getting the little yards on us? Good D. Good D, good D, good D. Good D, good D. He, he actually tried to chuck that in his own. Are my weakness up the seam? Oh, look at this. Gotcha. I want the house at. I want the house at joint. Got him. All right, let's get a little serious here, y'all. Let's um, let's see if we can get an end zone with this uh with this playbook. All right, so we got thirty four seconds left. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try Herman more down the sideline. What you guys think? Good try. This this would be a perfect run, wouldn't it? All right, so I'm going to take a chuck downfield. I'm either going to beat him with Debo Samuels or Herman Moore. Uh, let's take it. Let's take a chuck here. We got him. We got him. Oh, we got him. I knew it too, boy. I knew it. I knew we had him. He just, he just, he just sitting in that funky zone. All right, so let's uh, see if we can get a little. Uh... All right, let me try this here. Oh, I couldn't spike it. I should take a field goal. That's okay. I don't want the little funky field goal. 
It's a boring game. I need to put up some points, I know. New playbook, y'all. New playbook. Never never did it before. I'm just trying, trying some plays out, being, being cute. Sometimes you get bored playing with the same old playbook. So we got a new playbook. New playbook. Um, it has a few cool things in there. I was trying to rush. So now we got some time to see what he does. So he is in a strong close here. He's probably going to run the ball. Oh, he's, he's passing. He's passing. I knew he was passing. So it looks like he he likes these zig routes on the outside. So he likes to do a lot of zig routes on the outside. So let me show you what we do for that. A little lesson on how to read your opponent. And Refrigerator Perry is not going to catch that as a, as a fullback. Um, don't worry about Refrigerator Perry as a fullback, y'all. If y'all playing and Refrigerator Perry is going off for routes, you don't have to worry about him so much. Um, I'm not even worried about him. So, I'm going to show you something cool I did. I put Charles Wilson on his own. Peppers is going to get this interception. He'll throw the tight end. So I'm going to try to confuse him a little bit. He likes a hot route, so let's see if we can confuse him a little bit. I think we're getting an interception. So he likes that underneath route. So we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll handle it underneath route here. Let's see if we can handle this here. All right, so he's sticking, he's sticking with three play sets. All right, so we're going to take something away. So this, remember this gun doubles, right? You guys remember that, right? Watch this. We're going to take something away. I want to curl flat this guy. Ooh, took away his read. Oh, I told you. I knew it. That's what we do. See? You see, it's like, it's like a game of chess, like a game of chess. I took away his initial read, had Julius Pepper sitting over the middle. Bam. Come on, bro. Right, so now let, let, I'm going to go on scoring this dude because I'm tired of playing with him. Um, let's add some cool play. going to add this levels, this post, and uh, this looks like a pretty good play. We'll go a little bit of running here. And I don't think he can stop us. Little 01 trap here. He's going to stay in his funky zone. He doesn't have um, inside stuff. So because he doesn't have inside stuff, I'm just going to run on him. And then he's attacking from the outside. So simple read. I'm gonna get him uh worried about my pat my running. And nice, nice one over the middle, even though he took a hit. We should get that in the end zone. So second and goal. And what we're gonna do, folks? We're gonna go to our, we're gonna go to a little trickery. Oh, good stop, good stop. So we're gonna go out of this.
Let's see if he can get there in time. I don't think I didn't think he could either. Easy touchdown. I think we might get a shout out on stream. What you guys think? All right, so he threw a pick. We up 7-0. Brand new offensive playbook. Um, I'm trying to navigate through it. I think he got some good plays, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what it is, but it's the one I'm testing out here. So uh, this is my second time in it. I haven't labbed it or took it apart, but it got some pretty good motion stuff in there, and I like the motion stuff. Um, defense, you know, we always going to lock down on defense. All right, so... Uh, you, I think he's going to try to go deep. So I think this will be an opportunity to blitz his brains out. So he's going to go tight. And when a person is running tight, folks, I'm going to show you a cooler defense. Go cover three cloud. Move this guy over. Protect your seams. Let's see. I, think, I don't think that was a play action part, but uh, if he if he does that again, we okay. So he's he's ran drive drag. So this is what we do for this. We're gonna kind of I got there late. My fault. I got there late, y'all. Got there real late. I knew where it was going. I just got there a little late. And I got caught on the safety, so I didn't expect he hiked. He hiked it pretty fast, but I knew he was going across the middle. We we need to make our adjustments on defense too. We haven't made our adjustments here. Oh, nice blocking! Nice blocking! So what do we have in this playbook here? First time using it. What do we have in this thing? I know we got some decent run plays. Let's see what we got. Oh, he fell down. Come on, get up. Oh, he's in that cover three. So I'm going to see if I can get him over. I'm going to see if I can catch him up top. I got him. Oh, come on. Get there. Uh, I should have threw it a little sharper. Juice Peppers rotated over. I didn't think he would, but he did. I, pro I probably should have went to Debo. You know I wanted the long bomb. All right. All right, so he likes his he likes his slot option play. He ain't gonna keep doing it. He ain't gonna keep doing it. All right, it's fourth quarter, so let, let's take this game a little seriously, all right? So, um, fourth quarter. Agging on my dudes. He runs that flood out of tight. So he has a he has a couple of, he has a little tight situation going on. There's tight doubles. Let's see what we got. Oh, good run, good run. Good run. All 
All right, two minutes, y'all. Can, can we get a turnover? Can we get a turnover? The pass by him. You trying to run the clock. We're going to let him run it all the way down. Uh, he wants to run the clock and kick a field goal. So he's trying. He's trying to clock us. That's what happens when you take away your read, homie. Now he's having he's having problems. Don't don't quit. So we're third and eighteen now. So. He pretty much kind of blew it. So we're just going to go on a cover to man. And we just taking anything in the middle. Woodson has his tight end. I ain't worried about it. Nice play. Nice play. All right, let's, let's hold our time. Let's hold our time. Good play. That's what happens when we play around with our opponent. I don't need to give y'all a better game. So let, let me get into my regular playbook and give y'all a better game than this. I was trying out something. It didn't work out. And we lost to an easy opponent. Sometimes I get bored and do stuff like that. So forgive me, y'all. Sometimes I get bored and do stuff like that. But he might have scored too quick. He might have gave us a shot. My bad on stream, y'all. I shouldn't be playing around with, with playbooks, which I need to go and give y'all some good gameplay. So uh, let's do that. Normally, I put up about 21 to 30 points a game in my, uh, my original playbook, but we were just kind of playing around with some stuff. So uh, let's go to a playbook that we are pretty good at. And it's off meta. I don't use it meta stuff. I try not to use the meta stuff because everybody uses it. It's pretty glitchy. And uh, let's see if we can get a... I'm about to say, Debo might run that thing back here. Let's see if we can give y'all a good, a good Hail Mary here. All right, good Hail Mary. Let's see what we got. Oh, damn, could, could he? Could he? Oh! Oh, we lost by seven points, y'all. All right, so that, that's our fault. We played around with a playbook that we just haven't played in. So let's get to a playbook that we know. And uh, let's give you guys a better game. Sorry about that, y'all. Sometimes I play, I get a little bored with winning and play around. As you guys know, I've won like a uh, total of like 60 Super Bowls. So uh, sometimes I just get bored. I just want a little challenge. And I and I, sometimes I do go to All Madden. Um but a lot of times when you play in all Madden, it's like everybody does the same thing. Everybody's running, they just running tight, 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 tight. So uh, let's finish this game. Let's get back into another one. And um, I kind of show you guys some of the playbooks that I'm experimenting with. Um, so you guys can see that one is pretty decent. Just not familiar with it. Um, it just has some pretty decent plays. So that's my second loss with that playbook. So um, this is what I kind of play around with in my playbooks here. I'll show you guys here. We got, a, we got a few playbooks we play around with, with. So these are all the playbooks we mess with. I don't know why we got Tampa Bay Buccaneers twice. So we got Cleveland Brown, Patriots, Jets got a pretty decent playbook. 
I'm going to show you ones. I'm, I'm, this one is pretty decent. This run heavy one is actually pretty good. Uh, the Bucks is Bucks has tight in it. I don't really like it too much. It's just um, it's meta. Uh, the Browns got a really good sneaky playbook. Uh, the Patriots do. Uh, the Vikings do. Bills do. Chiefs is really good. Redskins really good too as well. A lot of them are pretty decent. So um, let me just kind of show you some off meta stuff that I'm going to run. And um, you guys will be able to check it out and see if you like it. So uh, this Vikings playbook has a really good tight formation. So we're going to go into that. We're going to play a serious game here. Um, and again, we're going to rock and roll. What's happening, uh, Peter Ken? How you doing? Appreciate you. All right. So <clears throat> we got a good, we got to look like we got a good quality opponent here. Um, we're going to be for real, for real now. No playing around. Um, we're going to get down here and we're going to score. So, uh, I don't even know who this opponent is, but I just know we're going to score on him, right? So again, we, we're random. We're going to score. We're going to stop him from scoring. Um, my, my last opponent wasn't that great, but I made him better than what he seemed because I kind of played around and chucked the ball. So uh, this is a serious gameplay. Let's get locked in and uh, let's pretend like this is an MCS tournament that we got bounced from. Um, we had a chance to get into it. We got bounced by a pretty good player. Uh, these MCS players are pretty decent. So let's see what this guy has. Uh, generally, when I go into my playbook, if I'm serious, you'll see me do this right here. I didn't do any of that. Um, generally, I don't know what he's going to do, so I don't adjust these until I get into the game. Uh, Steve Young, he might try to option it, so he's going to go pistol bunch. Uh, if he's in pistol bunch, he probably has a pistol playbook. Or he probably has the uh, running gun playbook or something. Let me see which pistol bunch this is. Okay. So he's, likelihood he's going to run it the first play. Let me see. Is he going to run it or is he going to pass it? He's going to pass it. And we took, oh, we got this. Oh, he tried to go right at Charles Woodson. <laughs> All right. So that's his play. Um, it looks like he wants to uh, try and exploit us down the field. And uh, We're kind of in a hybrid zone here. So watch how we play this. And yeah, he, it's, it's not, uh, he just can't read it. So we just hybrid zoned him. Um, that's kind of what we do. So we'll call it a little hybrid zone. I've had a feeling he's going back to it again. Uh, this game is going to be over pretty quickly. Yeah, it's going to be over pretty quickly because uh, we are in our regular play. We're in a playbook that we understand. I'm not going to say it's our regular playbook, but um, we're going to see how he responds, but yeah, he just, he just didn't even, he didn't even read his defense. He just threw it in between three people. That was definitely going to be a pick. So we turn, we turn it up a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't quit. We can give you guys a good game. So let's see. Uh, let's try to read his defense here. Uh, he is blitzing. So we're going to hit Herman Moore for a touchdown. If this is a, if this is a blitz and it is touchdown Herman Moore. Uh, we should have got that out, man. Drew Drew Brees has been th Drew Bledsoe has been over been making some crazy overthrows. Um, he should have been getting that. So I hate when we overthrow because that should have been a touchdown. Um, I think he's going to do this. Is he going to do the same thing? That's kind of what we do to kind of uh, throw people off. So let's see what he does here. If he's going to blitz again, uh, he didn't. All right. Come on, man. Get the ball out there. His his arm be throwing me sometime, bro. All right. I think this might be a zone. Hey, Drew, Drew Bledsoe is having some serious overthrow issues here lately. He didn't used to overthrow like this. That's crazy. I mean, homeboy is like seriously overthrowing some passes. Like, uh, this is like detrimental overthrows. So. He 
didn't overthrow that time. But generally, we even have some detrimental overthrows, like two overthrows. What's up with uh, what's up with Drew Breezy? Like, what's up with Drew Breeze? For real? I mean, Drew Drew Bledsoe. My bad. What's up with your What's up with your fam? That release is a little awful. All right, so he's gonna go back into his pistol bunch. And no, he's not going to catch that. I got knockouts on everybody. He seems to like this play, doesn't he? And there's Charles Woodson again. Man, he just like on, like run the same play like I'm just garbage. Like I didn't pick it the last time. All right, so let's see what we're getting here. Oh, he's going to run the same blitz. Wow. Oh, good, good click on by him. Definitely gonna click on by him. I think he's gonna he's gonna run the same play over and over. Look like he is. This cat is running the same play over and over. I ain't, I ain't gonna run my same. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna kind of switch it up. Does he, does he think this play is like really all that? He is actually is literally running the same play over and over. So I'm, I'm just going to blitz him. Okay, he's, he's doing some variations out of it. But pretty cool. Nice. He likes a little bunch, doesn't he? I give him I give him credit. At least he's uh Oh, wow. Somebody got left. <clears throat> Somebody got left. <clears throat> Wilson, you didn't go inside like like we like we talked about, brother. Okay, let's let's go down here and respond. I'm going to show you a cute little play that you might like to put in your offense out of the Vikings playbook. It's it's pretty cute. I'm going to see what you guys think about it. 
All right, it's this is this backfield gunplay. Um, if he blitzes me, Herman Moore is going to get a touchdown. Man, Drew Bree, Drew Bledsoe is not throwing these balls today. I mean, it, it is like it, it is just constant, constant overthrows. Which is crazy, right? He ain't throwing today. I mean, it's like it's it's literally constant overthrows. Like it is constant overthrows. Like, come on, bro. Like when I say constant overthrows, I mean constant overthrows. So. Yeah, lately he's been decent, but uh, he's been overthrowing a lot. So I I don't know, Drew. Uh, Drew, you were good when I first used you. Uh, now you're stinking it up. Now if you overthrow this one, I'm about to say, bro. If you overthrow this one, I am getting. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm literally gonna cut you. All right, easy touchdowns. Yeah, he's running blitzes, so I'm just going to just throw it over top of his head. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to do. I'm going to make one little adjustment here. So we just, we went touchdown for touchdown. Um, Let's get this guy off the, off this game. Get him off my field here. And uh, let's let's rock and roll. So he's running the same offense with a, with a little different variation. So uh, he's alderman alderman people. So uh, let's see how we can uh, let's see if we can man him up directly. And I'm 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 gonna go outside nickel blitz. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some some over there for that. Got it. Come on, dude. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Really? So I'm gonna see how he responds to if he's gonna if he's gonna if he stays in the same defense. This dude is an idiot. Uh, he shouldn't. He should make a little different variation. All right, so he's backing up now. Uh, I'm just going to run it on him. So let me see. So he knows how to run it. All right, cool. He's, he's got him in a cover for a drop now, which is good. So now we're going to go from here. We're going to audible into a little set. Pretty freaking cool, huh? It's all about keeping your opponent off guard. And nobody's running what I'm running here. So uh, if you guys like it, I put out an ebook. So we're coming out in this that keeps us at uh, four wide receivers. We're just going to get out of bounds. So, and I got another one I want to order into. So, uh, Want to auto into gun bunch of verticals? 
And this now gives us vertical. We're looking for the running back. And we actually had Plexico up the sideline, so. I'm gonna see if we can hit Plexico on the sideline. It might be a squeeze. I'm gonna to try to hit Plexico on the sideline. Let's see Plexico on the sideline. Got him. I call that one. So yeah, it's just just reading defenses, y'all. He stays the same. He doesn't really change much. So um, all time Drew Brees, Drew Drew. I keep calling him Drew Brees. Our time, Drew Bledsoe made a throw that was connecting. I mean, his 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 overthrows have been crazy. I don't know why he, why he's overthrowing. Um, it's like when they when they have a patch on Madden, um, he overthrows. Don't know why. And yeah, I use free form, but even with free form, there shouldn't be any any uh, excuse for overthrow. You know. So what is he going to do? Is he going to stick with the same type of offense or is it going to change? What you guys saying? You, know, you think he's going to stick with the same offense or you think he's going to change? What are you going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, he's going gun bunch. All right, cool. So. Yeah, he's blocking. He didn't block the running back. And he has threat detector. I think he has threat detector out here. So let me see if he does. Gotcha. I tell you, man, some people never learn. Good thing I'm in my good thing I'm in a decent playbook, right? All right, so uh what is it gonna give us here? I think we can run on this. Um I'm happy with a field goal. He don't have the personnel on here to block. Uh, Plexico's lit up. Look at the cut, bro. But I do want to get Plexico involved because he is lit up. So I want to try to go Plexico on a corner route because I don't think he... Um, I'm going to go Plexico corner route. Yeah, he had plus to go double team. That's cool. That's why we just don't blindly throw it. And we'll be happy to take a field goal right here. Because we don't want to do anything crazy like get ourselves out of field goal range. It would drain the clock. And he actually called a timeout for it, so. Um, and I actually run the ball here. If I can run it in for a touchdown score, I will. So I'll, I'll take a run. So we'll take an easy 31-yard field goal here. And that puts us up by... In points. Oh, so um, who gets the ball back in half? Does he, does he or do, do I get it back in half? I'm not sure. I forgot. So 
So giving you guys a little bit better game than I did last time. Uh, again, uh, I got maybe about four or five players that I kind of lab with. Some I play around with. Um, but, you know, they're, they're all all pretty different. And I wish I had that playbook the last game. So, yeah, I mean, I get a little bored sometimes with these, uh, you know, trying to keep Madden fresh. So I'll switch up on playbook, switch up on variation. Right, we get the ball back. He's in trouble. So again, if we're playing this game seriously, uh, we would clock manage here and we go up 24 to seven. Um, he has to be very aggressive. Come on, Debo. Plexico still, Plexico still should be lit up, right? I think he should be. Oh, he's not lit up. Oh, poor Plex. Let's see what he, let's see what he goes into. I'm gonna flood this right side. <clears throat> oh wow! <laughs> Look at this. He is lining up in field. Like, what is he doing? He's gonna quit. He's done. He's done. Peace. Is he quitting? Yeah, I figured he would be. So, folks, that's kind of a... I gave you two games. I gave you a trashy game where I was kind of kind of playing around with a playbook. Um, and I gave you a pretty decent game where I'm overthrowing the heck out of the ball. Uh, we got two losses here. And so... Uh, there we go. So, hopefully, if you watch this stream back, folks... Uh, just kind of showed you the, the zero chip theme team that we're building um, and kind of kind of joked around a little bit. But, you know, we'll, we'll give a more serious game on stream. Um, you know, sometimes we get locked in. Sometimes we don't. Um, we weren't really locked in uh, pretty much. We just in this run right here, we're just trying out different playbooks. Um, you know, there's a lot of different playbooks we can try out. We're trying out different ones. We're trying to get some different schemes going. Because we're going to do an ebook, we're going to do a lot of schemes where you audible down. And if you don't know what the, you know, kind of the best tactic is, is to come out in one play and audible down to another to throw your opponent off. And um, we're just trying to find playbooks that have a good transition from one play to the next. So a lot of times we want playbooks to where, you know, I'll show you uh, one that I'm that I can, uh, you know, a little thing that I found in a Jets playbook for those of you who like to run tight. Um, a little freebie here. Here's a freebie. In the Jets playbook, if you go here, I'm going to show you really quick. If you go into the Jets playbook, you can audible from shotgun split all the way to tight. Let me show you. So all you got to do basically, a little tip here. I want to give a little tip for you guys. So all you got to do basically is if you're in the Jets playbook, and I've been playing around with a lot of these playbooks, so a lot of my games now are that I do – uh, I'm not in the tournament, you know, I was really serious with the tournament, but a lot of my games I do now are basically just trying to find creative offense for you guys. So if you go in this package, split close, and you do the tight end package, I'm going to show you something. So you got your, let's see, tight end, you want the tight end in the backfield. You see, tight end, tight end, tight end. There we go. So we got tight end and fullback. Now, if you come into this play, pretty decent playbook, by the way. Uh, one of the best plays on here is, um, really, it's a lot of them on here. But um, if I go to, let's say, double ends, and let's say a person is calling defense, right? So I'll come out in this. I'll probably motion or something. I got my tight end at fullback. And so, you know, you can motion. You got tight end fullback. So you run this play. They stop it. Okay, so you know huddle. And on your no huddle, you go all the way to this shotgun tight. And watch this. So now you went from split to tight, and you can catch your opponent off guard, which is pretty cool. So another little gotcha play I'm working on. I'm working on things like that to where you can actually transition easy. So even from, even from the shotgun, uh, you can go into tight end corner. Uh, so you can go through some really, really cool stuff. 
So again, even with this, look at this. I got another cool formation right here you can go into, um, which gets Plexico open. So working on stuff like that, so I can kind of put out some strategy guides for you guys, some eBooks, uh, as you can go through just different, different types of, uh, different types of formations through this, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, even a, a, a shotgun flex where you can go out of uh, type with this. It just catches your opponent off guard. And we have the, uh, the tight end here. And I mean, literally, you know, you can just catch your opponent off guard if I don't overthrow that. So things like that is what we're working on. So best way to work on them is in game. So guys, if you're watching this video, I'll be working on stuff like that for you guys. I'll be kind of giving you guys some cool strategy. Uh, a lot of times I will get into playbooks and I will not go into practice mode with them. I'll just learn my plays as I play the game. Like I was doing the first game. I'll just kind of learn, see what you can audible into. I'll see the different variations because a lot of different variation. Uh, this play right here, where was it? This tight end corner play is a really, really cool play. Um, you got to speed out. You got to zig in, uh, which is uh, just really, really cool. And so I like things like that too. So uh, this is a really, this is a really cool play. So um, you'll see me go different variations. This halfback wheel uh, is really cool too, because I like the fact I can motion my tight end in this thing and I can create some cool little stuff like, like this. Now I got a flood concept, so I can either hit my tight end. Boom. So again, uh, ooh, concept like that, like, like that is what we like to show, what we like to work on. So uh, I've been drawing up plays for years. Uh, this wheel is cool. And then another thing, if a person glitch, you can move your running back like here and you can throw a wheel type post combo. So I waited too long, but that wheel will get open uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. So I'll do it again. You can throw different combinations, uh, you know, that kind of will throw your opponent off. And let me see if my line left me, but yeah, I mean, you can do, my line is pretty good. So, I mean, a lot of different things you can flip to out of this shotgun, which makes it pretty dangerous. Uh, even this right here, this uh, trade drag, uh, which is pretty decent. So, having that out of shotgun is, is just pretty crazy. And I don't know what defensive computer's in. But anyway, you kind of get the drift. So, folks, appreciate you tuning into this live. Um... I'm working on some cool stuff to kind of share with you some good strategy, uh, some good lab session stuff. So thank you for showing up, folks. Appreciate everyone who uh, gave me some love and some shout out. Uh, if you catch this, uh, definitely uh, shout out. And then um, again, a lot of times when I, go, when I go on stream, I'm kind of in lab mode. If I'm in lab mode, I'm not really concerned with winning. I'm just more so concerned with just learning the playbook. Um, the second game, I was a little bit more concerned with winning because I didn't I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm on here just trashing it up, right? Because uh, I'm not, you know, I'm on here trying to just kind of build some good offenses so I can present them. And the best way to build an offense is to take it out into, uh, into you know, the mutt world and see how people react to it, see how defenses react to it. And um, you can pick up, you know, pretty, you know, uh, some good tells on people. Um, defense as well, too, working on some defensive stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of in a state to where I want to keep this game fresh for you guys give you content because we got a long way to go with for Madden as well. But this theme team I got is pretty darn sweet. Uh, gotta love them. Uh, pretty sweet theme team. Wow, he gets, he gets open on that. So might have to include that in there too. All right, folks. Peace. Appreciate you watching.